Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Palletizing Conveyor Programming Do More PLC. The Machine Simulator, or MS, is part of the Easy PLC software suite. It has many built-in machines, like the Palletizing Machine, that show different programming techniques. The Palletizing Conveyor example is one of these machines, and we will use the Do More Designer PLC programming software. This will demonstrate a sequencer example. In this case, a box is placed on a skid. The logic will step through various steps to perform the task. A counter will control these steps. This is one of the easiest, fundamental ways all PLCs can be programmed for a sequence. We will use the free Do More Designer programming software and PLC simulator to program this easy PLC palletizing machine simulator palletizing conveyor. This will be done using Modbus TCP or Ethernet for communications. The programming sequencer allows for quick and easy control of the automation system. Using the five steps for programming development, we will show how the sequencer is programmed. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Step one, to find the task. The first step of Do More or any PLC program development is to determine what must be done. Start the Easy PLC Machine Simulator or MS. Select the Start button on the main page or select Machines from the main menu at the Machine Simulator window. All the available machines will now be displayed. Click on the 04 Palletizer System 1. This is the example we will be programming. To the left of the screen, information will be displayed on how the palletizing machines needs to function. Use the charge elevator to move large wooden boxes onto a pallet. Utilizing the turntable to direct the boxes and pallets to the elevator palletizing machine. The photocells will detect the arrival of boxes and pallets. Once the box is in the elevator, raise it to the loading position for a pallet placement. After positioning the pallet, lower the box to unload it safely. The palletizing machine simulator has a demo mode for this built-in machine. This will allow you to watch the operation of the palletizing conveyor. Select the demo mode for the palletizing system 1. The demo mode will show you the basics of palletizing conveyor operation. Move around this 3D virtual environment. The icons on the top of the window allow you to move around this 3D environment. The first icon is the default selection. This will enable you to move around without bumping into components. The last icon will automatically move you around this virtual environment. The first person mode will mimic a person in your 3D learning world. The third person will show you the operator and their relationship to the palletizing machine. Once we understand what must be done, we can move on to the next step in developing our Do More PLC program. Step two, define the inputs and outputs. At the bottom of the machine simulator window, the view IO will display the inputs and outputs required for this palletizing conveyor example. While still in demo mode, you can see the operation of the inputs and outputs. The Easy PLC Palletizing Example 1 will require 13 digital outputs and 13 digital inputs. If you are unsure what input or output is doing, start the palletizing conveyor machine in start mode. Select the view I.O. at the bottom middle of the palletizing machine simulator window. You can now manually run the palletizer without control or do more PLC simulator connection. Clicking on the outputs will allow you to turn them on manually. You can then monitor the inputs to see their operation. The restart button on the bottom of the machine simulator window will reset the scene back to the start. Step three, develop a logical sequence of operation. A flowchart or sequence table is used to understand the process that must be controlled thoroughly. 
It must also answer questions like the following. What happens when electrical power or pneumatic air is lost? What happens when inputs and output devices fail? Do we need redundancy? This step is where you'll spend most of your time. Understanding everything about the operation will save you time. It will help prevent you from continuously rewriting your PLC program logic. Knowing all these answers up front is vital in developing the PLC program. Our Do More PLC Palletizing Conveyor Program will break down into three components. The conveyors controlling the box and skid, the turntable, and the elevator. The box and skid creation will happen if the end sensor does not see the item. This will ensure that a box and skid are always at the end of the conveyor ready for the turntable. Our sequence table for the turntable will show the input signals on the left side and the output signals on the right. The value of the counter is shown with each step. We can move to the next step by looking at the counter value of zero and if we have timer one done and the turntable stop signal, the outputs that are controlled by counter value zero is timer one and the turntable rotate. You can see that the steps are repeated for each of the steps that are in the counter until you reach the last step of seven. This will then reset the counter back to zero. Counter two controls the sequence of the elevator. Once again, the input signals are on the left side and the output signals are on the right. The value of the counter is shown with each step. We can move to the next step if the counter value is zero and we have the box signal. The conveyor roller two advances when the output that activates at counter value zero. Repeat the process for all the other counter values until the last one of seven. This will reset the counter back to zero. A PLC programmer must know everything about the sequence and operation of the machine before programming. Ask questions or review existing documentation to ensure that you know the logical steps to the machine's operation. Step 4. Develop the Do More PLC program. The next step in our program development will write the ladder logic code for the Do More PLC simulator example. We will use the Do More Designer programming software with the Do More PLC simulator. The BRICS BRX Do More series will install the program, communicate to the controller instructions, and address the controller. Select the system configuration using the configuration icon on the main menu. You can also call this up by selecting under Tools in the project browser window. The third way to get to the system configuration is by using the main menu, PLC, System Configuration. The Do More PLC simulator will use the same IP address as the computer running the software. This address can be seen under the heading Internal Ethernet Port Configuration. Ensure that the Enable Modbus TCP server is selected. Click the Modbus TCP Settings button. We will leave the default port of 502 for our Modbus communication. Our Do More PLC is now a Modbus TCP server to the EasyPLC Modbus TCP client. Note the IP address we are using for the Do More PLC simulator. This will be used later to connect the EasyPLC machine simulator. The first two rungs of ladder logic code will control the box and pallet conveyors. The conveyor will activate when the photo cell for each component is not seen. This will automatically produce a part. When the turntable needs the part, this will is compared to the sequence for the step and the conveyors will also advance. This is counter one, which controls the turntable sequence. Returning to the sequence table, you can see the steps and inputs that will advance or increment the counter. Here are the outputs of the sequencer. You will see the counter value and inputs that will activate each output. 
If the output is to be turned on with more than one of the counter values, you can see that the conditions are placed in parallel. This is counter two, which controls the elevator sequence. Returning to the sequence table, you can see the steps and inputs that will advance or increment the counter. Here are the outputs of the elevator sequencer. You can see the counter value and inputs that will activate each output. If the output is to be turned on with more than one of the counter values, you can see that the conditions are placed in parallel. This is the end of the ladder logic code. Download the Do More program to the Do More PLC simulator. Ensure that the simulator is in run mode. Step five, test the program. We will use Modbus TCP on our Do More PLC simulator to communicate with the Easy PLC machine simulator. Call up the palletizing conveyor machine simulator in start mode. The status of the machine simulator will be at the bottom of the screen. Currently we have no PLC connected. Select IO drivers on the bottom middle of the screen. The machine simulator IO number will be displayed. Ensure we select more IO than the number required for a palletizing machine. The easy driver is selected by default. Under the driver pull down menu, select Modbus driver. This driver will communicate Modbus TCP, Ethernet, and Modbus RTU serial. Select the configure button. We can now enter the information for our Modbus driver. Select TCP IP. This means the Ethernet port on the computer will communicate to the DoMore PLC simulator. The digital inputs from MS to the DoMore PLC will be MC1 to MC17. This will start at address 0 due to the offset of 1. Digital outputs from MS to the DoMore PLC will be MI1 to MI17. This will begin at address 0 due to the offset of 1. Select the OK button. You will now see the inputs and outputs specified for the Modbus driver. We can manually assign the driver outputs to the PLC inputs and the driver inputs to the PLC outputs. However, the automatic assignment works well and will save you time. Select automatic assignment from the driver output in the main menu. This will automatically assign the PLC IO to the machine simulator IO Select Start Driver and exit from the main menu. On the bottom left side of the window, the driver communicates to the Do More PLC simulator with a green light. Select View I.O. to know the input and output status of the machine simulator. Ensure that the PLC simulator is in run mode. We can see the operation of a palletizing machine. The digital inputs and outputs of the MS will correspond to the PLC controller. Using the data view window of the DoMore Designer programming software, we can also watch the inputs and outputs operations. Using Machine Simulator MS to test the program will ensure that our program works. Troubleshooting is quickly done without damage to any physical hardware. You can practice your modification and debug by modifying the palletizing operation in the following way. Add a control panel with start and stop buttons. Add a jog button to the control panel to sequence through the steps. Calculate the rate of full pallets coming out of the palletizing machine in pallets per hour. Let me know how you made out in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.